it's me, Ninsoni. Welcome back to another VR video. Today we're back in the same place as I built in the last video. Um, and I wanted to show off something, in fact this is something that I should have mentioned in that video, which, which I was working on behind the scenes as well. Um, so the idea was that um, this is probably the first time you'll see me in a VR video uh, vis visibly sitting down in the video, um, even though it's about locomotion. Uh, the idea was that I wanted to take the hybrid locomotion system and make a sort of accessibility version for it and, and, and sort of just, just a little bit of an experimental idea as you can see from the text on screen. This build is for experimental accessibility support. Again, press the left menu to start the height calibration. Now you're probably wondering, hang on a minute, what about how, how do I handle the height calibration this time round? Well, it's actually not for the player height. So I had a bit of an idea for how I would handle um, a sort of game mechanic which is not necessary in this project I just wanted to test it out to see what people think so I'm gonna try and not move my feet at all in this project um, in this video uh, just so that we get a feel of how how it would be if you have maybe weak legs or if you really do need an accessibility version of some some sort of stuff like this um, or if you, you just sort of need to sit down or you're, you you get tired quite easily uh, I wanted to test this out in, in that sort of uh, in that sort of scenario, so here sit straight. Press the menu button to recenter. The system currently defaults you to 1.5 meters, 1.55 meters. So that's my default height, which I work with when I make these things. So you press the menu button. That'll reset your height. Now it says here, place one hand where you want the ground to be when crouching. Crouching will move you down so that this height is the ground height. This can be any height below your head you feel comfortable with. So let's say for example in my case, I want to have the height of the ground where I touch my knees. So you place your hand, or either of your hands, um, on the knee, and then press the menu button, click, and that should confirm that. Now rather than reading this to you, I'll have a go at showing you. Uh, firstly, just a little crouch mechanic. So as you can see, when I press the crouch button, which is just a button, button now, like a typical game, you press it, and you can see the ground is now exactly where I placed my hand before in the calibration step. So that allows you to comfortably decide where you want the crouch height to be uh, for any, any sort of game. Now of course the mo motion is um, back to the same thing as before with hybrid. There is still a little bit of sway and you can sort of feel like you're walking. And that's pretty much what I wanted for this build, um, for the accessibility version of this. I wanted to sort of take the, the mechanics that we can use, take the tracking that we can use, so partially the hand tracking, partially the head tracking, and uh, sort of create some feeling of walking even though you're sort of sitting down uh, and not standing up. And that's what I wanted to create. So you can see here obviously the ground is not there. I am 1.55 meters off the ground now in terms of in-game height. And of course when you press the crouch, you can touch the ground. And of course you can place that wherever you want to. Uh, so if you wanted it quite far, if you have quite a lot of mobility, or if you don't have very much mobility and you want it here, uh, then you can do that. And that'll work with any crouch height you want to you want to use. Now the actual idea for motion is the same as before, except, although I am usually against this, um, it does include some hand swinger. So unlike usual, hand swinging by itself doesn't do much. So you can see I'm not really running much right now just by moving my hands. However, I can comfortably move quite fast by using both hand swinger and the very slight head sway as well. So you can see here, I'm very comfortably, I'm just holding the analog stick forward now, I'm very comfortably able to decide what speed I want to walk at and start running very easily as well. Just very, very easily, not too much effort. And of course, if you want to really sprint, you can put a little bit more effort into that. And that's including both the head and hand motion. So rather than a typical hand swinger system where you're sort of, you end up shaking your hands quite vigorously to move, fa to move a lot faster, here you can barely move your hands and still feel that speed motion coming in. And it, it's just sort of in, in um, <laughs> what's the word? I was going to say in sequence, it's not the word. Um, in sync with your head motion you want to move your hands so it's just sort of like that and then like that and it's it, it really does work quite well and i nearly fell off that there we go 
Now you can see, just as long as you're, you're in sync between your head and your hands, and it does feel a little bit like I'm actually running now. Now I'm trying to put no effort into my feet at all right now, just to make sure that it, it's, it's something that you'd be able to do while sitting down um, quite easily. And you can see it is quite sort of stiff to a certain extent. If you stop, it just sort of stops quite quickly. But there is a little bit of a blend to make sure that you can sort of continuously keep moving. So it's, it's quite able. And of course, you can just stand on top of things and move around. It's the same system as before, except I've modified the locomotion quite a bit just to include these, these cool little changes here. And uh, that's pretty much the, the, the whole thing I wanted to show. It's this idea of, and, and you can do this with uh, an armrest, without the armrest, of course, you can do this quite easily. And you can move around quite nicely. With an armrest, you can, of course. It's a little bit more difficult, but you can sort of, once you get into the rhythm, you get used to it. And maybe I can I can change the, the, the sort of sensitivity of all of this and, and whatnot. And of course, this is this is up to you guys. I want I want a few people to try this out. Just see, does this feel quite nice? Do you feel like you're standing up and, and actually running a little bit more than you would normally? Um, do you feel like there's there's still too much effort put in to the sort of motion of the hands? Uh, because I one thing I, I've never really liked is this whole hand swinger motion. You end up sort of, especially when the directionality is on the hands only, you end up sort of having to do this and then you're swinging behind you. As you can see with this system, while I'm pressing forward, even if I turn my hand, point it backwards, I'm still moving forward. It's, uh, I did quite a lot of work in getting the directionality working. I'm, my, my nose right now is itching so much because I believe there might be a hair stuck into my, uh, sort of, headrest here and my face mask <laughs> that happens quite often uh, with my hair being a little bit longish um, I don't have exactly very long hair but I know that a lot of people will probably get a lot of hair stuck in their face mask uh, comfort mask over here but yeah so that's what I wanted to do anyway I wanted to see how much people like this and and how you feel about sort of moving like this just uh, just as a little test this is just a test. It's, it's not really in a game scenario. There might be a lot of difficulties in changing this for game mechanics. For game mechanics when you're, ne you're needing your hands like for aiming and stuff like that. And I mean it kind of works but I have programmed it so that you kind of need to have both your hands moving opposite to each other to actually detect that motion. Uh, but again, like I said, it's not sort of extreme swinging or anything like that. It's not the way that, for example, um, what's that game? Well, I'm not even going to give the example because I'm going to guess the game's name wrong. Uh, but yeah, so it, it's not about all of that sort of uh, heavy motion on the hands. I just wanted it nice and easy, nice and simple. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the same video twice now. Um, one with me standing, one with me sitting. And uh, this is this is the second copy of the locomotion uh, system I wanted to try out some accessibility so please do try this out uh, especially if you do need accessibility it's something I would really like to see um, what do you what do you feel about this um, especially the idea of just having a crouch button um, where you can decide where the ground is um, that is something I, I want to see does it does it really help is it something that you actually want to do and and sort of have that job that jarring drop of motion um, where you're suddenly dropping and you're suddenly coming back up is it something you like uh, because obviously that's something that is very simple to implement and I'm sure other games without this locomotion system could uh, could, could do something like that as well for accessibility side of things uh, yeah so thanks very much for for watching this video see how it see how it plays for you um, and and give us some feedback on the itch.io page so I'll, I'll throw this on the same page as the other samples uh, this will be prob probably sample 2.5 uh, and then the next one obviously I'll, I'll try and get some uh, physics in there as well uh, thanks very much for watching goodbye